All right, I'm with an old friend, John McQueen, today, and we're targeting big speckled trout with topwater baits. This is gonna be a blast. I didn't know it was gonna be cloudy today. I thought it was gonna be clear. I know it's supposed to rain later. There we go. Oh, right next to the boat. <laughs> oh, John. How'd you miss my hooks? Got him, got him. There's a fish. Not what we came for, but it's a fish on top. Somewhere. There you go. That striking miss, was that a like a good it seemed like it was. I felt him for a second. It wasn't a 12 inch, that's for sure. A lot of times this year, the, the fish have been in the rough spot. Oh, have they? Yeah, yeah almost embarrassed. Down last year, I've probably gotten half a dozen 23 inch. One this year, that was today. The way it is here now, I mean, that's that's a trophy fish here. I mean, it didn't used to be that way, but we've had such a bad run the last 10 years. The pendulum will swing, there's no question, but okay. I, I know it will. I'm positive. Time, I'm positive. We've had very, very unfavorable conditions for the last decade. Well, you really think that's going to change? Um, yeah, I mean, I do. I do think it'll change. You know, you, you look back to the years when we had incomparable speckled trout fishing for, yeah, for big trout. Years. It was, we'll the, it was the time. drought years, and we've had the opposite of the drought. I mean, it's just been so wet. But it hadn't been terribly wet the last six months. No, but, but it takes time. I mean, we've, we've had abysmal spawns for, for 10 years. It takes time. I, I'm, 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 I'm very confident. <laughs> oh, is that you? I don't think he was our 23, but he's like, I just want to kill it because it's acting so stupid. I don't really want to eat it because it's too big. All right, John, I'm feeling it. I think we're about to hit him. Hey. Hey, I have a question. Yeah. Did you happen to grab my wallet this morning? Did I? You have yours? That's a good question. I hope not. Hold on. Oh, John's got a fish. No, I got mine, Joel. All right, come back. Feel nice, John? So John cheated, waited till I got a phone call and hooked up with a nice speckled trout. Oh no, man, feeling kind of red. Uh-oh, maybe redfish. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. You want me to net him? Uh, no. You know, reds are fun to catch when you're targeting reds. But all that is is bycatch when you're targeting big trout. Part of the deal, though. Yep, part of the deal. See ya. You know what that is. You know what that is. There's nothing speckled trout about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big old, big old redfish. <laughs> did he hit you? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you only did a glancing blow on me. Oh goodness. <laughs> oh yes. Yes. Well done. I'm a lucky man. Well done. We're moving on. That was a big old bull. It is amazing though how often big trout run with. With a redfish. Mm -hmm. yep. Doesn't take much grass at all to make these things not work right. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad that fish got off. I'd be fighting that thing for 20 minutes. Uh oh. Trout? A trout. Nice, John. See a netter? Yeah. It's a good trout, John. Nice, good fish. Look at this one. Look at that. That's why we came. Good fish, man. All right. See what we got. Fat fish. It's about a 22, I'm guessing. What would you say? 
Just under four pounds. Just under four. Nice fish. If I pinch the tail, he's going to be about 22 and a half. Okay. Let's do it right there. Man. All right, now we can go home. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Get a few more. What do you say? I'm in. Why not? Are you dirty dog. That was a good trout. That was a good trout. Good lord. Oh. They are hitting that bait, man. I'm getting blow ups, but they won't commit. I might need to make a change. Doing good? I got a matrix mullet. I might throw that. So, John, take me through your line setup. What, what are you, what are you right, throwing? 30 pound braid. And I connect it to about, I start with about six feet of fluorocarbon, 20 pound. And it looks like you got a loop knot at the end? Yeah, loop, loop knot at the end. A uni, uni connect. I always, wonder, I always worry about low tide and, you know, start to go up. How long does it take to? Fill that in good enough to make a difference. Make a difference, right. Mm -hmm. so to me, I always felt like when you're fishing flats, those fish get nervous when that water's falling out and they pull off of it. Yeah. But when it's flooding, I think they almost immediately come, come on to it. Yep, that makes sense. All right, the fish were hitting that she dog, but not really committing. So I made a change to a matrix mullet. We'll see if it makes a difference. That's the only reason I live where I live. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Hit it already. It wasn't, a, it wasn't a big fish. It was one of those that jumps out the water and lands on it. You got a hit? First cast. Feel decent? Yeah, I'm telling you. Schoolie. That was an ambitious fish. Big bait. Yep. He wouldn't have to eat for a while after eating that one. That's about what hit me. Good if you're eating them. John made a change to a he dog, which should have been too big for that fish, <laughs> but it wasn't. I always wondered, did you throw it right on top of them pretty much, or how far around when you start twitching it? Right. I'm, I'm sure sometimes they come running to it. Come them. rocketing. Oh, yep. What's your radius? Yeah, my. 50 feet? Is it 50 I, feet? Yeah. 50 feet? I don't. Man, I, you know, the trout is so damn fast. I guess it could be. But I think that initial splashdown, like when they're aggressive, yeah. I think that's so important. Man, John, you're killing me, dude. Oh. God, man. <laughs> that was a big fish. What? Uh, you didn't hear it? All right, just like the she dog, the matrix mullet is getting tons of blow ups, but no connections. Sooner or later, these hooks have to do their job. Yeah, we're not. Is he net worthy? Nah. He worthy. I just saw it. Brave little guy. Oh, another one. He came out of the water and crashed on it. Dude, how's that even possible? Dude, that little bait, they can mess with. This one, they got a mean one. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, look at that. Right. <laughs> it's a ferocious fish. If they got to be 100 pounds, you'd never be able to go swimming. So I'm saving all my strength for that, that big one. <laughs> John. <laughs> all right, I'm tying on your skitter walk. <laughs> God. <laughs> All right, I'm happy to net your fish. That's why I came. I like the other one. About the same size as the other one? 
Good trout, I know that. It's a good trout. There you go. Dude, that's a, that might that might be a hair bigger. 21. Okay. 21. All right, I said some bad words when John caught that fish. I'm actually very happy he caught him, but I do want to catch one of my own. I'm gonna make a bait change. They're hitting this matrix mullet just like they did that she dog, but they will not commit. John's got a skitter walk he's been throwing here a whole bunch, getting lots of bites on that. So I'm gonna give that a whirl. I also got this this he dog. Well, you tell me. You, you're the one out here all the time. You tell me. What would you throw this if it was you? The first time I've thrown that he dog. I'm sorry? This is the first time I've oh, thrown that Oh, it is? That okay. Heat well, give me that skitter walk then. So this way, John, if I don't catch him, I can blame you. All right, here we go. Skitter walk. You can see it's used and abused. John has definitely caught some fish on this thing. Got all kind of hooker ash all over it. Come on, Todd. I'm rooting for you, man. He hasn't jumped yet, but he feels pretty decent. Nope. Not decent. Not big at all. I got him. There we go. <laughs> he must have got down on some grass or something because he felt big for a minute. You got it? Good fish or just a fish? Uh, Don't know yet. Big on what we've had, just really how he jumped. Yeah. He got down on that grass too. Okay. Okay. That's a better fish than you thought. Yeah. I can, I can You're a brave man, hugging that fish with a... See the thing about flopping on the bottom of the boat, too. Probably should not. Yeah, I learned my lesson, though, years ago with topwaters. I got one in my hand here and had to go to the hospital. Couldn't get it out. Good fish. This was not one for the wall, John. <laughs> Catches the biggins. <laughs> Catches the biggins. You found it? On the aisle. What? And you change the hooks? See you, big guy. Thanks for that fun fight. Well, it's better than the last. I know that. Come on, get off. Go ahead. Go ahead. Croaking male. You gonna go impregnate some hottie this summer. I know you got some big plans, huh? What you got there, John? Redfish? Yeah. Or big trout? I'm gonna tag this 15 inch fish. All right, so John's busy running off all the trout. Mm. This big redfish. Catch another 15 inch. <laughs> right. That's a big fish. Oh, you. I'm figuring it out. You. Yeah, had a bite. That's a big old boy. That is a big bull. Man, good luck netting that fish. John, let me give you a hand. For my next fish. Oh, you got him? There you go. That's a big fish. That is a big fish. <laughs> That's a big red fish. Get these bottoms out, my fatigue. That's a beast. <laughs> yeah. That's a tank. <laughs> Skitter walk. Skitter walk. So you say Rapala or you say Rapala? Rapala. Because <laughs> the company says Rapala. All right. <laughs> <laughs>
Whenever I call it Rapala in videos, though, it offends a lot of people. It's Rapala! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll tell the company that they pronounce it wrong. So how much do you adjust cadence? I always pause it a lot. You pause it a lot? It takes forever for me to get a cast down. So you're talking like just little short pauses within your... Yeah. Okay. No long pauses. If you long pause it... They, they, they get a good look at it. They get a good look at it. You don't want to. Oh, ho, ho. you get it? That's a good one, too. That's a good one? Good fish. You need a net? John, that's a good fish, man. Hold on, hold on. I got a bait out, so just be careful. That's a good fish. Yep, I was trying. All right. She was not getting off. That's good. That's what you like to see. Nice. You want to measure her? It's 22. She's 22. Good fish, man. Let's see what we have. Three and three quarters. Three and three quarters. There you go. And all this three and three quarters. There you go. Love to see it. Sweet. God, do you want this bait? Seriously. Um, I've been in you know, the grove for three fish. Just for kicks? Let's yeah. switch it and see. Definitely. Because I, I bet you it's something different that you're doing. It's not the bait. All I'm doing is it's it's not the bait, but let let's uh, pay attention to that. That's, that's just as just as a matter of principle, we educate ourselves. All right, John has been crushing the fish on this he dog, as you've seen. He's nice enough to uh, to let me fish it. However, I'll be shocked if it makes a difference for me. I think there's just something subtle, subtly different that he's doing that I'm not doing, and I just got to figure that out. I don't think it's the bait, but I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. What about the angler? I think it's the <laughs> angler, that's what I'm saying. I think it is the angler. Definitely, you definitely, Charlie's definitely throw it a mile. <laughs> there he is. All right, maybe it was the bait. Nah, he, he's he, this isn't a good one. He's a brave little guy. Yep. Not a bad fish. So long, sucker. I'm surprised how few mullet we've seen today. Hardly any. Never seen many of them. I'm happy to see one. There's one. Speak of the devil. Just jump along that shoreline. All right, I'm feeling it, John. I think it's about to happen. Oh, look at you. Did you see that? Sitting still? Well, it's sitting still. And you were just... I, I twitched, I think it was, it was foul. It dove. Ah. Seems like a decent fish, huh? You need the net or no? Let me know, John. It's a good fish. <laughs> God. Man, that is a big fish. Three and a quarter. Brave little guy. Yep. <laughs> Hitting that big old bait. Hopefully your mouth will heal because it's a disaster now. Is that on you? Oh. It's a good one. <laughs> he played with you for a minute. All right, John, I'm gonna net him. That's what, that's what I'm good for.
Good fish. Good fish. Three and a half. Three and a half. Alright. Measuring. 22. 22 inches. That fish will be fine. Yeah, he's he's in good shape. Alright, John absolutely put on a clinic today. He fishes these speckled trout almost every day, so you can tell he's definitely dialed in. I had a couple of really nice ones hooked up, unfortunately pulled the hooks. That's fishing, but let me tell you, I cannot wait to get back out there. Just an absolutely fantastic experience. It always is when you're catching speckled trout on top water baits. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the Marshman Masson channel on YouTube. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're notified whenever we post a new video. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here at Marshman Masson.